Hello friends, how are you? Good? Okay. So today in this video, I am going to tell you about the ISRO examination. What should be your strategy to tackle this exam? Okay. So already most of the people have appeared uh, in gate examination, well prepared and uh, the syllabus of gate and ISRO is almost same. Okay. So you have approximately two months for ISRO exam from today. Today is the date uh, 5th March, right? So, approximately two months are there. What should you do now for this exam? Already your syllabus has been completed. It needs little bit revision. And after that, you try to solve more questions. More and more. Practice only. Okay. So, in this video, I, I will tell you the differences between gate exam and ISRO exam. What are the differences? Levels is same. Okay. So first difference is that the level of the ISRO exam will be easier in comparison to gate exam. Okay. You can say one mark question of gate exam. That will be the level of ISRO examination. Okay. Second difference is that in ISRO exam you will get 80 questions in 90 minutes. You will get time only 90 minutes. But in gate exam, you need to solve 65 questions in 30, uh, 3 hours. Right? So this is the difference. Time is less. One question and one minute. That is the time ratio. Okay. Now third point is, uh, third difference between ISRO and gate is, in ISRO exam, you will get more theoretical question in comparison to gate. In gate exam, you will get only 3-4 theoretical questions, all will be numerical problem only. Here you will get 20 to 25 questions. At least 20 questions you will get. Okay. So that is the benefit. Theoretical questions if you know, you can solve immediately and you will save more time. So I have appeared in uh, ISRO exam, you can solve your 80 questions in 90 minutes. That is true. So no need to worry, level of the question will be easier, okay. In this video I have, I have uh, taken uh, questions from old papers and mentioned here, I have, I have shown you the, I have tried to show you the level of the ISRO exam questions. Go through this video, okay, and uh, try to find out how to score 120 marks, okay. Because 120 marks is the cutoff of ISRO exam. ISRO has never declared like this. But from the old history, if you get more than 120 marks, you will get a call for interview. Okay. So, one uh, uh, 80 question will be there. Uh, each question will consist 3 marks. One mark will be negative for wrong questions, wrong answers. And uh, so, if you don't do any mistake, you need to solve 40 questions. Okay. 50% out of 80. So no need to solve 100% paper already. I am telling you because in ISRO, this written exam is just for interview call. They will not take this, this uh, written marks for final selection. It, their selection will be purely based on the, your interview performance. Okay. So if you are scoring 120, 130, 140, 150, it doesn't matter. If you clear cut out, that's okay for you. Okay, so go through, this video, uh, go through this video. Thank you. Okay, so let's talk about ISRO examination. In this test paper, you will get 80 questions to solve in 90 minutes. So each question will get only 1 minute to solve. Single 1 minute, will, you will have to solve one question. Okay, the level will be like this, you can solve in 1 minute also. That's not so tough. That's also true. So each question will consist three marks. Negative marking is here. One mark will be deducted for each wrong answer. And written test is only a first level screening. And written test score will not be considered for final selection process. As I have already told you, your selection will be based on the totally interview performance. Written marks will not be considered in your final selection. So, 
from the previous exams 120 marks you need to score every year they call students uh, if they score uh, more than 120 120 is the cutoff they are never declared like this but every year if you score 120 you will get a call it may go high also this year but from last three four years it is 120 only so try to score more than 120 marks to get a call okay so i have made some strategy i have do i have done some research work here how many questions are being asked from which subject that analysis i have done for mechanical engineering you see you can see from old paper in thermodynamics you are getting 8 to 10 questions every year in thermodynamics i have not taken hmp questions i have not taken power plant questions okay it's really very good subject to score in ISRO exam. You will get more questions from thermodynamics. Second is uh, strength of material. From this subject also you will get 10 to 12 questions. Questions are easy also. But only drawback is that these questions are time taking questions. You need to solve. There is a lot uh, more calculation will be there. It will take more time to solve. That is only rabbi with foam. Third is material science. You will get 5 to 7 questions from material science in ISRO exam. So here is the difference between ISRO and GATE. In GATE paper, you hardly will, you will get one question in one mark, one mark section only. But in material science, you will get more questions. From uh, sorry, in, in ISRO exam, you will get more questions. And these are very high scoring also because these questions will be theoretical only if you know the answer immediately you tick and go further you can score high marks in material science so it's very important subject for this point of view fourth is production technology from this subject also you will get 10, 10 to 12 questions but here also it will be time taking Food mechanics, you will get 5 to 7 questions. Heat mass transfer also very important subject for ISRO. Question will be easier. You can solve, but little bit more calculation. Mechanics, it will be very easy to solve. It will be, uh, easy question will be there from mechanics section. And calculation will also not be so much. So, mechanics also very good subject to score good marks in ISRO. Mass always will be there. 8 to uh, 6 to 8 I have taken may go up to 10 also and easy question will be there you should score good marks in match power plant is my favorite subject I like very much this subject and you will get more questions in power plant from steam engine from nozzle from gas turbine from these section you will get questions and and I think power plant syllabus is very less in gate syllabus gate examination so you need to cover some extra topic in this subject for this exam so be careful about power plant and meteorology also you will get 5 to 7 questions uh, in machine data and also 5 to 7 questions and so this is the distribution of question in ISRO paper so after you have strong subject hai, unko focus karo. okay and at least try to solve 55 questions in this paper because if you solve 55 to 60 questions from uh, 8 to 10 will be negative so at least you will get more than 120 marks so make your strategy like this only ok I have taken few questions also from different subjects so, so that you can see what type of question they are going to ask ok from thermodynamics, I have taken some seven questions from old papers. You can see, really, they are asking. They are asking very easy question in, uh, in comparison to gate paper. Okay, so you can see here what type of question they ask. From SOM also, they are going to ask easy question only, but calculation will be more. So you will get more time to solve, more than one minute at least, at least for SOM questions. Okay. From material science, you can see that 
uh, direct theory, theoretical questions are where you can score good marks in material science. And uh, for grade exam, most of the students don't study material science thoroughly. So here you need to give more time to material science and same power plant because power plant syllabus is more in ISO paper in comparison to gate paper. Okay. In production technology and technology also you will get theoretical and numerical. Both type of questions will be there. Here also you need to do a little bit more study in comparison to uh, gate because in gate only theoretical questions are going to ask but here sorry in gate paper only numerical questions they are going to ask in this exam theoretical questions also will be there so you need to study thoroughly the production technology also material science also and uh, power plant also okay so in questions ko dekho what type of question they ask or practice karo try to score more than 120 marks at least okay practice old gate papers more and more try to focus on one mark question focus on theory part more in comparison to gate paper that is the key for this exam because you can't solve all the numerical problem in this subject you need to score good marks in theoretical sections okay please like this video and subscribe the channel if you like the information Channel subscribe karo, achche achche videos dal raho hume. I'll try to help you guys. Hmm? If you have any doubt, please ask into comment section. Thank you very much. Like us on Facebook. Thank you. Wherever I go, wherever I see, I'll remember you. If you remember.